If you've used up all the Ethernet connections on the back of your router like this, and you're looking for a quick and easy way to increase the number of connections available, then you'll need a network switch. In this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what type of switch you'll need and how to set it up. Network switches come in various sizes and which one suits you will depend on how many additional cable connections you need. The number of ports signifies the number of cable connections available. Switches normally come in the following sizes, five ports, eight ports, 16 ports, 24 ports, and 48 ports. One port is the in connection the link to your router. So if you need five additional connections, you would need an eight port switch, not a five port, because a five port is one in and four out. There are different types of network switches, but for a plug and play solution, you'll need an unmanaged switch. This switch will work straight out of the box. The last detail you'll need to get right is the speed. For most people, you'll be looking for a gigabit switch. That means that the switch is capable of transferring one gigabit or a thousand megabits of data per second. There are many manufacturers of network switches and the main ones are all very reliable and pretty cheap. So I would recommend sticking with a manufacturer that you recognize. Brands like TP-Link and Netgear are ideal and they offer generous warranties on their equipment. I've put some links to some recommended switches in the comments below. These are Amazon affiliate links, which means that it doesn't cost you anything, but we do receive a small commission from each sale. So I thank you very much for your support in advance. Setting up the switch is very simple. You'll need to ensure you have an ethernet cable as well as the switch to connect the switch to your router. First, unpack the switch and plug it into the power. Then take the ethernet cable and plug it into one of the local area network or LAN ports on the back of your router. If you have to unplug something else, don't worry, you can transfer that to the switch. Then take out the other end of the ethernet cable and plug it into the switch. When you do this, you should see a little LED light next to the port start to blink. This is the link light, and it means you have a connection. For gigabit switches, the light would normally be green. If you don't see a light, first check both the switch and the router are properly plugged in and powered up. If they look fine, then check the ethernet cable. And if you can, try replacing the cable. Your network switch is now available to use, and you can plug in any additional cables that you need. That's it for our video. I hope you found this helpful. Please do subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, don't forget to put them in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching.